command line programs, terminal user interface programs. I am always on the lookout for new and interesting terminal applications. And one of the ones I came across recently that I thought was really neat is I came across a really neat 4chan terminal browser. And that's what I want to share with you guys today. If I go over to my browser here, my web browser, and you will see on GitHub, we have this program called Chan CLI, 4chan CLI browsing, command line interface browsing. Although it's not really what I typically think of when I think of command line interface, it's more of a terminal user interface, uh, almost like an curses program, although I don't think it uses curses. But it, it's not where you enter something at the command line and the, the command line spits some information back out. No, when you actually run Chan CLI, you actually launch a terminal user interface application. This particular program is written in Python. To install it, the installation is very simple. If I switch back over to my desktop here and I pull up a terminal and I will zoom in and you get clone. And then the location to the Chan CLI repository, you hit enter. It's not going to pull this down for me because I've already cloned this repository before. I already have it on my system, so I just need to CD into Chan CLI. If I do a LS, you will see a program in here called Chan CLI.py. To run this, you type period followed by a slash and then Chan CLI.py. Hit enter and it launches the program. This is Chan CLI version 0.0.1. .0 and you see at the bottom we have a prompt and it says type help for instructions. So if I type help, this is all the commands that are available for you for Chan CLI. There's not much to it, only about 10 commands. So it's this is not a complicated terminal application at all. Now you can't really post to 4chan using this. This is mainly just to browse 4chan. So the first thing you want to do is you want to type the word list boards, all one word, list boards. Hit enter. And this gives you the available boards over on 4chan. Of course, it's going to be a very long listing. The next command you probably want to enter is the word board space and then the name of the board you want to go to. I want to go to G, which is 4chan's technology forum. I'm going to hit enter, and we are now browsing G. You can see at the bottom the prompt says displaying page one of G. And you see it actually is numbering the name of the threads, the number of the threads here. The very first thread, of course, is the sticky that's always on G, and you see it has a one out to the side. If I wanted to read this sticky, I could actually go open space and then one to read the first thread and then just hit arrow down and I can read this particular thread. If I wanted to, I could go back to board space G and then I could open a different thread. So if I scroll down, maybe for some interesting threads to read. Oh, the fourth thread here. Why does a vocal minority on G hate OOP, uh, object-oriented programming, I'm assuming is what we're talking about here. Let's view this thread. So I'm going to type open space four. And we are now viewing this particular thread. If I type the word help again and go back to some of the other options, we've already basically used all the options in Chan CLI. Again, there's not that many commands. Uh, if I wanted to, I could type board space the name of the board I want to go to, say G, space, and then the ID of a specific thread, like one. If I know exactly the board I want to go to and the ID of the thread I want to go to, then I can do all those in one command. We can also view the 4chan archives. That's the older threads that are no longer on the top 10 pages of G, for example. Other than that, we have the help command, which we're using right now. We have the license command, which just tells us about the licensing of this program, I would assume, which is the MIT license. So it is a free license. The other command is quit, exit, or just the letter Q to get out of Chan CLI. So it's a pretty neat program. Um, I, I love being able to actually view 4chan in the terminal without having to pull up a big heavy bloated web browser it's kind of a neat program i don't know if that many people know about it actually i don't even know if the guys over at 4chan know about it you know what i should make a thread over at g and ask these guys do they know about chan cli see what they think about it uh, but being that g is 
a board on 4chan, I do need to post a picture when I start a thread, so I should create a picture of myself. So let me pose for the camera. Go back to the browser and we'll pull up G here in Firefox. I'm going to start a new thread and we will name ourselves. Normally we could just be anonymous, but you know, since I'm going to post a picture of myself, I might as well tell these guys, hey, it's me, DistroTube. I will title this thread Browse 4chan via the command line. And then I'll go ahead and write the body of the post here. All right, the body of the post says, have you guys heard of Chan CLI, a Python program that lets you browse 4chan in your terminal? It looks like a neat program. And then I gave a link to the GitHub location for Chan CLI. And then I added my picture and I'm gonna go ahead and click post. And we now have a thread. So obviously what we need to do now is go back to Chan CLI. And if I go back and do board space G and go back to G and I arrow down, let's see if I can find my post. There it is, number seven. Have you guys heard of Chan CLI, a Python program that lets you browse 4chan in your terminal? Let's open space seven for the number of the thread. And there you have it. There is my thread over at G and I'm viewing it in the terminal. Nobody has replied to it just yet. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Uh, I'll link to the thread on G in case it happens to still be up after I publish this video. Now before I go, I do need to thank a few special people. I need to thank all these names you're seeing on the screen. These guys that help support my work over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode about Chan CLI would not have been possible. Sincere thank you to each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. Alright guys, peace.